AG Labs, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello. And welcome to the Micro Soldering Show today in English. Later, I just want to do a video in German. But today, I want to start with an English video on this beautiful Monday. We have the 13th of March 2020. We have beautiful sun out there, it's a beautiful day. And I hope that this video will work without any ruckling, flickering, things like that because I had problems with the video quality in my last videos. Yeah, caused by Corona, um, I can't go to the barber shop at the moment, so I want to cut my hair about five centimeters and doing the, the sides, but it's really, really not possible at the moment, so I just, uh, just uh, think about do it by myself, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Today we just start by, an, by a board which was mailed in by another shop for their recovery job. It's just, um, it's just two halves of the board, okay? So let's see that. So let's see for my resolution here, that's okay. And now we go straight to the on-hands camera. And on-hands. <laughs> We need to zoom in a little bit so that's more better, okay? So you see, I have two parts of the board. We don't need that, we only need that. And we start right away by just swapping the board. I know we could do some other shit, but at the moment I really have a lot of them board swap works uh, laying here on my table. And that's the thing I have to start with for today. So it's beautiful weather out there, great, I want to, to do barbecue today in the evening. I hope that you are all healthy and you all have enough work and if you don't have enough work in these times you can use the time for just learning things. So I try to give you as much videos as possible in this bad corona time okay let's start by just removing the underfill around the CPU yeah we have to do that Forgot to take a picture of the of the broken board. But in the next days I will limit my my activity on social media. I try to give you a video once at a morning, but then I just want to low up my social media activity because I I need to do some some work on my skills and work on on things like theory and things like that so just getting better learning more so i need time for doing that and i have a lot of work at company so i try to get it so we need to do complete swap here not only not only CPU and 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 logic EEPROM data. Okay, that has been done. I want to take a little picture of that. Okay, and now we go to the back side.
don't know how this happened. I just I just got a package and in the package there was the board like that and a form where the customer wrote please do board swap. The prices for our board swaps you find in the B2B area of our website. Just register as B2B and you can see the prices. Okay, now I just want to prepare the swap board because I have a swap board here, but the power I see hasn't done on the swap board, so I want to do that first. That's a power IC which has not much underfill. See it sometimes. Sometimes you, you see boards with a lot of underfill and sometimes you see boards like that and they don't have much underfill on the power IC. Days before I had an iPhone XS and it just got no underfill under the CPU. I never saw that before. Okay, out. Now just some flux. And where? Here is my wick. Rush. Now just clean. Cleaning time around the power IC. We don't have much underfill here, so that's a good a good thing. Because we can clean that fast. Now we just need a new big power IC for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Just some flux down here. And a chip. Oh! No, 
now getting the power IC down. Done. Now just cool down, wait a short time and control the value on power supply and then we can just get down the CPU, the baseband CPU and the NAND here. nice just a shot for Instagram okay after that we can just get out the CPU the baseband CPU and the NAND Done. And done. Okay. So CPU, baseband CPU out. Now we just take out the NAND. Okay, get it out. Come on. Okay. Now we need to clean the chips. So one time cleaning the baseband CPU. See, this has been done. After that, cleaning the NAND. CP 
GPU has been cleaned. I was just doing that without microscope. Okay, and rest we just do by wick. One second. First, we just we just do the NAND now. We just do the CPU. And done. Okay, that's cool. Now we just need some UV solar mask. Done. UV light. Clean. And we are done. Now we just clean the sides. After cleaning the sides, we can just do the reball. Good morning. Andy Handy is in. Yeah. Sorry, that stimmt. Good morning. Moin, 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 moin. Yo. Cleaning the sides very well. Okay, and now we just take a stencil. So here it is. Okay, great. Yeah, we take that. Just get it. Good morning. And we 
just do it like that. And we need a little bit of paste. Gently get the paste in. And now we just do the reroll of the CPU. Okay, and now we just clean the surface. And we are done. Perfect rebore. Like you see, control if you see any points of dirt or things like that if not just use some flux and reflow And done. Looks good. Vier. Für dich bestimmt. Und für meine Frau bestimmt. Okay. Take the CPU away and reboot the NAND. What about Corona news? Did you got any things, Andy? So we reboot the NAND. Okay, lifting up, 
that's lifting up and some flux on it and again hot air See that? Two balls are just lifted too fast here. So I want to do it perfectly. So now. Yeah, now it looks much better. Now it's the same amount everywhere. Okay. You see, even on the net you have to take care. And now we take the baseband CPU. Some of flux on here and a quick reflow. Now it's perfect. Okay, we take that away and we take the base pen CPU. I just clean it around one time with the knife. I know there was some dirt, some dirt around. Okay, and we just do a reroll. Okay. Done and now hot air. Done. Okay, just some more flux on here, finger and reflow. Without stencil. going on there there is a little bit of dirt here at one point you see that see that here just a, a dirt point try to get it in that way try to get the dirt out and paste in I don't know if it works but we will see
Now it looks good. Okay. Just get some flux here. Just reflow that. And looks pretty good, I think. So now we can just getting all the parts here for a quick shot. And after that we copy the EEPROM data and unbind. And unbind the NAND at the old board. So we need the P7 module. So we just need the P7 module. Oh no, now I have the, the flux at the NAND and I get it now in there. Wow. That's not cool, but okay, I do it now. Unbind Wi Fi. Okay. Now we just need another module. This one and the old board. To see if we can read no no we can't read anything that's okay so we just have to swap the EEPROMs too not a problem we will start right away with that One time here, one time here. Swap board. Okay, we got it out. That's great. Now we need the other board. And now we don't have to lose these EPROMs because otherwise we really have a problem. We start, we start with that ROM, with the baseband EEPROM. <sighs> okay, don't lose it, Ben, don't lose it. And I lost it. And I really lost it! But here it is. I got it. Okay. That was just just um click just luck. Okay. So I take it and I just lay down on that board looking for the direction on this old board here. Good morning, David. Okay, the circle here. So A1 here. Not a problem. 
we do it in in that way in here And you see it's right, it's connected. Good morning. And now we just take out the logic ROM. And you saw I almost lose the important ROM, but I got it. Okay. Now just get this ROM here. Okay, and now just a little bit of flux. And it's done. Okay. Good morning, Ilya. Okay, now we can just get down the NAND. Yeah, that's pretty okay. The baseband CPU. Well, first we can have a look if the baseband EEPROM is readable. Yeah, it is. Detect the base. So that's cool. So we don't have to care about that. And now we can just get in baseband CPU. Here and that way. And after that, the main CPU. Just want to take one picture about that. Okay. Come on over to me. solder that CPU down having a look that we have no dirt in it yeah I see a little bit so it has been done now we just place the CPU placing the CPU and after that just solder that CPU down morning Kyle 58 51 like ever and now we just solder the CPU down soldering the CPU down
waiting until the flux melts and comes out at the sides and then we know that we are done done ich oh ich habe schöne beete angelegt ja auch ja sehr geil and now we can control if we were successful if we have a look from the side we see the cpu looks good so we just cool it down for a short time and after that we can just check it i need a screen At first I want to see for the value on power supply. So connect it. And for the value, for me it looks good. So I just connect that. And waiting for the Apple, boom! And you see we have the iTunes logo that's not um, caused by us. So we just need to do um, an update or a restore, I don't know. Um, because it's not for data, it's just because the phone didn't do anything at all before because of this. So I just um, want to do a restore now and after that I just mount the device completely and get it back to the customer. But like you see, boom, back to life again. iPhone 7 Plus after just a complete broken board. Just need to do restore. Oh, we can do it within that video. That's not a problem too. But I think it could take time we will see so we do it like that we take a test battery and I take my MacBook <sighs> cable Plugging that in. And waiting for my MacBook. Okay, update. Update. Okay, I have to download. So we can keep the data because we can do an update. But I have to download the file and it will take here you can see it will take about 25 minutes so I don't want to waste time in the video now you see it works I just do an update now after that the phone will go straightly back to the customer after I did uh, renew of the shields clean the complete board do complete functionality test and after that we are back okay I'm out I hope you like that if you want to learn things like that easily you can do that at our one-on-one -on -one courses but um, we have to, to finish to end up Corona before we can do courses trainings again. Um, I would be happy to see you at our Facebook group Smartphone Repair Group Germany. Just join it, but please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. And um, by the way, try to order this, the amazing ICC Pro 2, which every technician in the whole world needs. I'm out. Boom! Back to life again. Yes, Ben.